Hi there, this is Darren from Treasure Life Family Farms and today we're fixing the garbage can drawer trolley system. So I've already taken uh, quite a bit of it apart because <clears throat> I want to show you uh, the part that's actually broken. And so these things push down on both sides. And when you push those down, the part that actually holds the garbage can will come off of these studs. You actually need to use a screwdriver to turn these studs out just a little bit because you tighten them up when you install it, you loosen them up a little bit when you uh, take it out and then the whole garbage rack piece will come off the top of this trolley system. Well the problem we have is normally when this closes it holds itself closed and whatever one of the springs came out of it went twang and now that doesn't work anymore. So we're catching up here. If you can see this little spring back here, that one seems good. And it's missing over here because we did see it come out. So, this uh, thing I thought needed parts, but I couldn't get parts, so the whole deal is 165 bucks new. So, we took and pushed these green buttons down. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, loosened these studs up a little bit took the garbage rack mechanism off and then went to compare this with the new one and it's identical minus the part where the other one hopefully works so I'm gonna leave the garbage drawer and that whole setup together and just replace the trolley system and then try to see if I can get parts and fix this thing because then when the other one goes bad we'll have one so that's what we're doing Alright, so I was just uh, setting the old one over the new one just to see, make sure everything does really line up, and it seems to. So we should be able to put screws all back in the same screw holes, and then attach the garbage trolley system itself. Let me set that on that box. And then... With the new one in place, uh, I think we'll be back in business really quick. Let's go install this and then I'll show you how we put the garbage can uh, trolley thing, which is over there. Uh, it sits on top of here. It'll, it'll go until these things pop back up through those holes. And uh, I think we'll be in business pretty quick. All right, so I got the new trolley system bolted down. As you can see in the close-ups here, we got a screw, or I mean a spring thing going on there, one going on there, and when you run this thing in, it stays in. It doesn't kind of push itself back out. So hopefully that's enough. The problem we ran into. <clears throat> was the dog figured out that this thing was loose and would come in here in the night and open it up and go through all the paper towels and find anything he can find to eat. So that wasn't good. Anyways, I'll go grab the garbage can part and we'll set it on the studs here. We'll snap that into place. I'll show you how that works. And then I'm gonna tighten these screws down and then we'll be done. All right, so like I said, this is the old can system and I didn't see the need to take it off of the face of the drawer and put this all together just to have the same thing when I get done. The little green buttons are right here. So I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but we need to kind of push these down on this end. 
and then slide the whole thing forward. Am I gonna get it? I gotta turn that screw out just a little bit. Maybe I'll try it one more time. No, it's not gonna go too hard. And then slide it, uh, like I say, forward just a little bit. And that green button will pop up. And then I'll tighten all four of those uh, screws there a little bit to cinch it down. And then we'll be all done. Let me uh, go grab a screwdriver. This is a Kessel Bomber. I don't know, I don't know that brand. Uh, I'm guessing uh, 11 or 151134 and 40s is a uh, model number, hopefully. Also says Kessel Bomber on the little label here. On the old one and the new one. So uh, that's the, what it is. So when I go searching for parts, I can. Uh, Look there. They sent this template with uh, for mounting to the drawer, but we didn't do that again. The new side rails, the garbage cans. You might remember the old ones. Just came straight through on both of these uh, support guide rods. I don't know that that matters. So we'll keep the new ones in case we ever have a reason why one of those is bad. Alright, let's go pop that last green button in. Alright, we were trying to get this one to go and I just can't quite force it so I think I need to just turn this out a little bit and that'll give it a little bit of more room for what we're trying to do here. Give it a little tug. There it goes. And now, my understanding is these tighten down. Am I on the wrong side here? Maybe it doesn't matter. They seem to be directly under the rods, so it makes it a little hard. You get the idea. So I believe if those turn down, it won't pop out of here while it's uh, underway. I don't know, I guess those plastic things would hold it too. Well, let me tighten the other three. We'll put the garbage cans in and I'll show you the final product. All right. There's our brand label again. Here's what the two garbage cans sitting in it. Here's what it's supposed to do. The older one would pop out to about there and there would be no resistance on it and the dog was able to get that open. Now on this one, it has resistance on it now to there. Right to there. A little resistance. That holds the two garbage cans. Put garbage bags in those, of course. Daisy, come here. Come here. Here's the uh, garbage thief in chief right here. You don't want to stay for the video? Anyhow, she was able to figure out how to get this thing open every night. I don't think she'll be able to do it now if it's pretty decent finger pull right there for the first three inches. And that's the end of our video. Thanks for watching. That's how to. Uh, Get back in business on this uh, garbage can drawer. And uh, if we can get parts for the other thing, replace a spring or something, 165 bucks for this thing, hopefully a $10 spring would kind of bring that thing back to life and we'd be good to go again for a while in case this one ever goes bad. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.